well. Marshall started in a hurry. This first drive, very impressive before Ontavius Wilson had a 19-yard touchdown completion. Yeah, and then Tommy Shuler, he's the big gun so far for this offense. You knew he was going to be involved. Houston comes back, though. Hits Ross in the corner of the eight, gets the one foot down. That's a touchdown. Cook's trying to come back. The pump fake, and then Devontae Allen, watch this, drops it right down the elevator shaft for another touchdown. And the interesting play here, about six inches away from 300 yards passing. This actually called a rush, or else you'd see Raheem Cato over 300 yards throwing the football in the first half. Just a hair backwards, uh, or else it would have been a pass attempt. And then Kevin Grooms doing the heavy lifting. Can we give number 37 some credit? Sure. For Ken Farrow, the Richard freshman. Throwing on first down, hammered by DJ Hunter. This guy's just a freshman. Yeah, DJ Hunter is a linebacker as well. That's by, at least on the depth chart, he's uh, sort of conversions. Inside, Jackson taken down behind the line of scrimmage. All right, Chad, I've read a lot of uh, uh, work that says that you have a really close relationship with Rakeem Cato. You've been mentoring him, you've been bringing him up, and you can obviously see that on the field. Well, playing in Miami and living in South Florida for four years, I was able to get to know Rakeem a little bit and, and know his story. He's got an unbelievable story, and so I know what he's going through as a Marshall quarterback and what it means to be a Marshall quarterback. My experiences with him. What are you most proud of when you see his work on the field? What are you most proud of? His development. You're starting to see him really come into his own and, and not only play with his physical talent, but play with his eyes and his mental capabilities because he's a very smart guy. And so he just keeps getting better and better. Over $30 million in improvements for the school. Tell us about that. Oh, wow. The vision campaign is something that this uh, area, the Tri-State area, has never seen. And, and it's amazing. We met with the architects yesterday and with our indoor practice facility, our soccer stadium, our research center and academic center. It is a, a program and an opportunity for all of our supporters to be proud of, number one, and be a part of it. Thanks so much. Rachel Barbeau with Chad Pennington. Chad Pennington going back to the 2000 NFL draft. Uh, one of four first-round draft picks that year for the New York Jets, only team in history to have four first-rounders, and uh, had a really solid career both uh, in New York and South Florida. And then obviously back here now trying to raise major cash for Marshall. Third down, Cato looks, and the pass is complete. A wide open receiver for a first down Gator to Hoskins. Gator Hoskins from Gainesville. Gain of 27 yards to the tight end. Now, I talked about how DJ Hunter, for instance, he's listed as a linebacker, but he's kind of a safety. And it's certainly an impressive uh, scenario put together by Chad Pennington and some of these great legacy players as we see pass complete to first down to Wilson from Cato but you gotta like when people keep putting back into the program after having success here. Yeah, real good conversion here. Change things on third and short instead of third and seven or eight uh, to get the completion there. Second and nine from the 30. Outside pass complete to Evans. Breaks one tackle. And he's going to get enough for a first down to the 19 after a pickup of 11 before Lloyd Allen, the senior from Baton Rouge, makes the play. A good first cut, great second cut. I thought that Evans was going. The scoreboard doesn't change much as far as margin that you see the running game featured a lot more. Grooms bounces oh, what a to block. the outside. Penalty marker comes down. Marshall has done so much more right over these first uh, two and a half quarters, but they're in a fight right now. And if they thought they were just going to cruise to the uh, final, uh, you know, you get an easy victory. Take a look at the day for Tommy Schuler, the Conference USA receptions leader. A lot more football to be played for Marshall. Third and nine, Cato throws, pass complete to Evans, and Evans is out to midfield, gets across. And the blitz coming off the near side, watch that. Blitz pick up there by Telefero. Telefero again. They're keeping the ball on the ground, he picks up seven yards, and he's going to be awfully close. They're going to mark him just short of the yardage needed at the first down marker. And here's the danger you risk, and I was about to say with Houston stacking the line and bringing guys off the edge. And 
Third and three. They go back to Talaferro, and he powers forward inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. He's got some surprisingly good speed for all the big size that he brings. Yeah, what he does very squat, too, only 5'7", but uh, pretty thickly built, and uh, is doing a great job on this drive. Inside, Talaferro still trying to break through, and he does. That's exactly what you were talking about a moment ago. When he gets into that second zone, he's got a lot of room to make some damage. Yeah, and Houston knows what they have to do. It's, you know, jam every gap and then have an extra defender maybe to go unblocked. Second and goal. And the quarterback keeps it himself. Cato into the end zone. Five-yard touchdown rush. So what you've seen in the second half here is one really quick drive straight down the field for Marshall interception. Houston turns that into points, and then important for Marshall, they answer. Uh, something besides points there, even a field goal, Houston's thinking fresh start. It's a brand new game right here. We've given up our huge lead. Now let's go out and make some plays. Throw it to the outside to Wilkins. Hey, Wilkins. Good job of hanging on. The D back there. Bates gets a hand in. Second and four. Big hole opens up for Kevin Grooms, who gets to the second layer and out to the 38 yard line. Second and eight for the 40. Keto, plenty of time. Up into the pocket. Pass complete to the outside to Evans. Marshall's making some plays here, moving the football, another first down for him. If you're Houston, Bernie, you know what the danger is? Sometimes when you get all the way back to tide, in the back of their minds, the kids, something. And Keto on the 92nd has it complete to Wilson. They're 11 for 18 on third down. Keto trying to rush for it. He's got the first down and more across the 20 and out of bounds at the 15. Cato using his legs to pick up 14 yards. Was looking downfield to throw the football and no slide this time. Jackson's in the backfield now with under three and a half to play. Jones flushed out of the pocket. And a wise move by him of throwing it away and a penalty marker flies oh, in at the end of the gracious. play. Goodness gracious. We saw a penalty extend the drive on the previous possession, and I think the little shove in the back there. And number 96, Brandon Sparrow. 96 on the defense, 15-yard penalty. You know, that we had the – it wound up being half the distance because the penalty was committed on the 14-yard line, but on the previous possession, keeps it alive for Houston. They're able to score a touchdown uh, after that Marshall penalty and tie the ball game. First and 10, Houston trying to complete the comeback, and down in the backfield, Brandon Sparrow has the sack. A loss of nine. And a little shot of redemption there. Nice job breaking through. Very motivated. Now, he does not need to get up and start motioning and yelling at the Houston side. Third down. The pass is complete. That's going to be a first down pickup to Schuler. It will stop the clock after a pickup of seven. 30 yards would make him happy as well. 25 yards maybe. Cato trying to scamper. He's got the first down and more. He slides down at the 42 with 37 seconds to play. Clock moving under 30 seconds. Cato fires at the outside to his favorite target, Schuler, and Schuler is gonna go down inside the 30. A 45-yard attempt to win it. Blake Fernopel is the holder. And Houston calls a timeout. Coach Levine wants to counsel with his team a little bit. How do you like that, Chuck? Uh, I think, honestly, most kickers don't get spooked by it. 
nothing to do with the kicker's mentality or able, ability to hit the kick. 45 yards in the win. The kick is up, and the kick is good. Justin Haig and Doc Holliday and the Marshall Thundering Herd able to finish this football game. Haig with a 45-yard game-winning field goal. Final score in this one, Marshall 44, Houston 41 for Rachel Barbeau and Chuck Oliver. I'm Bernie Gunther saying so long from Huntington, West Virginia. We turn our attention now to SMU taking on Rice. Coming up next on CSS.